Let's turn now to John Buckingham. He's been buying Apple shares recently for his clients. He's chief investment officer at Al Frank Asset Management. So, John, is this what you expected in terms of earnings, the dividend, the stock buyback from Apple tonight? Well, it was certainly a news-filled afternoon from Apple. Um, the uh, the stock buyback was, frankly, uh, more than we might have uh, envisioned. So we're we're very appreciative of that. You know, Apple has a gigantic cash hoard, uh, over $150 a share in cash, and we really are happy that they're putting that to work. Especially when you can buy the stock here at these very inexpensive valuations. You know, we're trading now at less than 10 times earnings for one of America's greatest corporations. And yes, I know that earnings were a little disappointing in terms of the guidance uh, here for the next uh, quarter. Um, but this is a fantastic company with uh, tremendous products and a huge installed base of rabid customers. Yes, they're going through a little bit of a, a product lull here now as we wait for the next big thing. And of course, that's what's on everybody's mind as we go forward. You've been buy You've been uh, taking some profits uh, prior to uh, recently. You've been buying uh, the stock in uh, for some clients. If I didn't own the stock, based on today's numbers and based on your prospects for it, I'm not asking you to be a portfolio manager. I'm just saying, would you buy it at these prices? <laughs> well, Tyler, I am a portfolio manager, and uh, absolutely, I'd be a buyer of the stock at these prices. I know in the after hours, it's had a little spike, and uh, maybe it'll pull back a little bit as people might start to get a little concerned about that forward guidance. But absolutely, as part of a diversified portfolio, and I'm always about diversification. You know, I've, we've owned Apple uh, since 2003, and you're right, we did take some money off the table over a year ago in the $585 range. Um, but when it came back down again, it just looked like a stock in our mind that. Uh, was something we want to add to portfolios. Again, the multiples are really important to us. You know, single digit PE, fantastic balance sheet, great products. You know, I mean, this is amazing. The company earned $10 billion in the quarter. You know, John, um, but a lot of future growth and revenues and earnings are going to depend on what's the next new thing, as you just mentioned a while ago, and everybody's waiting for Apple's next big hit. Uh, some people are talking about an Apple TV. Will this possibly be the game changer and the mu next must-have consumer gadget that will make a big difference for Apple? What do you think? Well, I think it would certainly be a, a product people would want to buy. The problem, though, is can Apple make it at a, at a reasonable uh, level of margins? You know, you're not selling a, a $300 phone or $400 phone subsidized by a phone company. Um, you know, you're selling a gigantic television set, which costs a lot of money as far as the components go. And so uh, that would be the real challenge is can you maintain those margins? You know, we're, we're complaining about margins uh, dropping, what, to 36, 37 percent in the next quarter. Um, I just don't think they can maintain that with a television. So um, we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. This has been a company that's been innovative for year after year after year. I don't know what that next big thing is going to be, but I feel really well protected with the strength of the balance sheet and the inexpensive valuation. Uh, to be a buyer of the stock at these levels. You know, John, there had been some uh, rumblings about Tim Cook, the CEO of that company. You said any, any rumblings that he might be in jeopardy were, if I might quote you, a bunch of hooey. I guess that's a technical term. Uh, <laughs> does this lay the, any of those concerns to rest if they needed to be laid to rest? Well, I think it does. You know, the, the, the folks that were agitating for, uh, for change at Apple were really concerned about how they were going to spend that cash hoard. So the David Einhorns of the world, I would imagine, are happy today, given the, uh, the gigantic increase in the buyback. Um, and Tim Cook, you can't forget, he's been there a long time. It's not like, you know, uh, he just came, uh, you know, a year ago and presided over a stock slump, you know, from 600 to 400. Uh, he's been part of the history of Apple and has been a, really a, a very innovative guy as well. And uh, keeping the trains running on time is a big deal. And uh, I think he does it very well. All right, John, thank you so much. Apple is stock everybody loves to talk about, and we'll talk about it more tomorrow. John Buckingham, Chief Investment Officer at Al Frank Asset Management.